Okay, today I'm going to attempt to remove the throttle blades that's inside this fuel injection uh, system. Alright, what I'm going to do is I need to remove the cover. And what I'm going to do is show y'all what goes on inside once you crank the motor and all. Because I have looked at uh, several videos and uh, I just have not seen anybody do what I'm fixing to do just yet. All right, these screws right here I'm removing is a four millimeter. Take four of them. Of course, you know, you, you've seen videos where people have removed the covers before and that's nothing new. I started to go ahead and remove it. All right, let me get this set just somewhere where it won't get messed up. Now to keep from having my fuel injection light come on, the dash, I'm going to do is take this little sensor, plug it right back in, like that, just leave it just like so. Alright, if you'll notice, these throttle blades is about closed. Matter of fact, let me move this out of the way and get the camera closer to it. That way you don't see what's going on. Now, when it's, this cranks up cold, now it's been sitting overnight, you're going to see these butterflies stand wide open. All right, and as it warms up, they start closing. Switching it on. Now watch one, uh, what happens when I open up the throttle. I just wanted to show y'all how them flaps work. Now, there's one thing that I hadn't heard or seen about these uh, flaps here is if you'll notice, there's a little zero right here at the bottom. There and there. Anyway, I want to make sure, I'm going to fix them to pull them out and see how it does. 
and see if it's got a bad hesitation like there's a few people were talking about. I'm just curious to know, and two, when you start to do that, make sure you get a good screwdriver. Good, a good tip, because you don't want to round them off. Ooh, that's easy. And a magnetic also. Very important, because you don't want to drop no screws in there. All right, that's one. There's two. There's one plate. There's a second plate. Okay. Now, let's crank it back up and see what we got. in but maybe not Okay, first test ride with the baffles, or the not the baffles, but uh, butterflies out. Let's see how she's going to do. That was a 
slight hesitation just then. But that's okay, let's take her down the road and see how she's going to do. in the rear or got new spark flows in this motor it's been running great so that's the reason why I'm trying to go ahead and try see how she's gonna do with all this you know slight modifications to it motorcycle up to 90 I don't want I don't want them butterflies cutting restricting the air coming into the motor uh, it might have some hesitation but from what I felt just now riding this bike uh, I'd rather have it the way it is right now I mean that is just me uh, Now, they some people say, "Oh, you you got to have perfect throttle response and all this other stuff." And yeah, I I I agree with them. I don't disagree, but uh, I'm just saying, as far as it goes for me, I think I'm gonna leave them butterflies out. I don't think I'm gonna put them back in, cause. I rode it enough that it's good and warm. Uh, that was about, oh, probably eight miles round trip. Anyway, I'm happy with the bike without them butterflies. So, I reckon that'll do it for this video. Well, just before... Let's hear that exhaust. See if the, how bad a hesitation it's got. Uh, get down here down here. If there's a hesitation, it's very, very slight. 
so if anybody wants to try that you know it, it's, it's not hard to do just remember if you put your butterflies back in make sure that zero or that O is pointing toward the bottom all right well thank y'all for watching